Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragons back and I welcome all of you to another part of Shantae Half Genie Hero. In the last episode, we defeated the great unspeakable horror, Squid Baron. And in this episode, we're gonna help Uncle with his machine once more. So we need, when you've got both the zombie hamster and the iron slab, bring them here. I don't know what the voice was there at the beginning, but yeah, we need a zombie hamster and an iron slab. So, zombie hamster, we can get from Poe. And the iron slab? Hmm. Iron is pretty common. I'm sure someone here in town knows where to find some. Well, in that case, let's go outside, destroy some stuff, and talk to the people of Skulltown yet again. Those cute zombie brothers were spotted over by the castle. Hmm. I know that. I know at least that Abner is over there. Legend tell of a relic which allow harpies to fire shots through the air. Good to know. A pink blob-like woman came looking for you. He's hanging out around here somewhere. Well, okay. Pink blob-like. Hmm. I just as a saw the Asir Knight over at the item shop. Ooh, you did. You did now. In that case, movie trivia. Have you seen the animated classic The Little Bonk Zahagen? It's a classic tale of a fish girl who dreams of marrying an iron slab. Fun fact, it's a true story. The fish girl's underwater cave really exists, somewhere beneath the desert oasis. If you could blast open the passageway, you could see the object of your defection. Interesting, well let's go to the item shop here first. Hello there! I am the Sir Knight! You! We are sent forth by the Crimson Knight to retrieve his regal headwear. I would not yield it to a knave such as Yon. However it stands, I would be inclined to bequeath it to you. Shalt thine providest me with a fine vorpal blade doused in the tears of a saddened newborn Oregontan. Though might prove procure sand blade by descending to the ocean depths into the putrid sewers and to the place where the adventure man will challenge you if thou art successful in surmounting his cerebral tournament of trickery and deception and deliver unto me the vorpal blade before the setting sun touches the vast ocean the regal hardware shall be thine I see that thou hast procured the Vorpal Blade. Yay! You gave the Vorpal Blade. You are both noble and brave. And so I bestow upon you thine thou had, thy regal headwear as promised. You got a foxy grandma head. Thanks, dude. Where is it upon thine head henceforth? I'm starting to think this is a phony accent. Really? What gave it away? Perchance we shall meet again, my lady of Cressus Lavender. Okay, uh, cool. Thank you. Buy everything. Well, we have a good bit of money. Um, we could get the Warp Dance now, finally. Is there anything else that I'm before I'm really excited about? Well, maybe getting uh, all of the magic first, so let's do that. And I cannot get the scimitar, sadly, 300, but storm puff and the bubble. So now I have at least all the different magic spells that I now can switch around and I'm I'm personally a big fan of the pike ball, so I'm gonna have them permanently equipped. Long ago mermaids could blast powerful bubbles by waving their tails. These days only elderly sea creatures know the technique. Okay. The adventure man was sucked into a sewer pipe beneath Main Street. I know that. I heard there's a secret at the top of the factory, but you'd need a way to hover up there. Hmm, a way to hover up. Oh lady, it's you! <coughs> Sorry, coughing. Give me a moment. <coughs> okay, I'm back. Oh, hi, honey melon. Just me, Grandpa Blobfish, same as before. My grandkids are off watching the movie picture show. Do you think my hat looks too old-fashioned? The grandkids say I need to find a new hat. I don't know, something more modern is called for, I suppose. Can you help me out again? Find me a hat that looks looks nice. I'll wait right here, same before. 
You found me a new head. Yes, I sure did. You gave Foxy Grant my head. Oh dear. Is that what folks are wearing these days? Okay, if you think I should put it on, then I... Here it goes. Boom, Foxy Grandma! Oh sweet mama, I look hotter than a frisk... Fricasset cube worm. Foxy Grandma! Words to live by. This head is giving this old gal thoughts of springtime if you know what I'm getting at. <laughs> In fact, I think I feel a romantic song coming on. Now, I hope this ain't too hot and steamy for general audiences. Here it goes! <laughs> you. Oh dear, now that didn't go to plan. That memory bummer must have been stuck somewhere deep down inside along with my feelings. Well, you can keep it. <laughs> Accent suddenly changed as well as she turned foxy. Well, now we have the mermaid bubbles, so that means we can do a lot more stuff. Which means exploration time! Yes, we're gonna do a lot of different stuff this time. So we're gonna go, I think we have everything now that we need to get every single tiny bit on Main Street. So let's flop up there and we're gonna start and collect every single thing and every nook and cranny. So see you guys on Main Street! So, we're now on Main Street, there are two things left that we're still missing and we know where one of them is. But I'm gonna still do quick jumps forward to the places so that we don't have to watch through every single spot again. Well, at least you don't have to. I'm gonna have to... Oh, yeah, we have the bubbles now, I completely forgot about that. But yeah, I'm gonna look for everything and see you once we find the things that are missing. Ouch. So, we are now on this screen. Everything else apparently I have on the first screen, so let's just flop up here. And now, thanks to the Harpy, we can get up here and get ourselves a Waterfall Relic. Really, really need that. What the Waterfall Relic does for us, and I'm gonna show that because I was dumb that first thing when I got it. While assuming a water-based form, press up while standing in a waterfall. Really useful, especially if we want to get all the things. But yeah, and now I think the last thing that I'm missing must be somewhere on this screen as well. So, I completely forgot, but there's a flower. Boom, got it. There's a flower behind a few rocks that we can destroy. I nearly forgot that that was a thing in this game. Well, yeah, that's everything on Main Street. Moving on to the Mermaid Falls. So in the Mermaid Falls we have a few things that are really nice to get now. I think one of them is... a few of them are actually underwater, so... Good that we have now a stronger Mermaid form, they are all actually... How? I didn't know that that was a thing. So good thing that we now have the Bubble Blaster with the Mermaid. But we needed to have that so that we can blast through a few blocks somewhere. I remember that. And there's something else inside of the factory that we can now do, which I'm gonna show you as soon as we're there. There we go, we can get through here and get ourselves another sunken soul, one of ten in this area. So three more that we miss in here. There's another one up there, so we need to be a crab for that actually. And need to claw away in there. Well, how about we do that real quickly. So, claw through, there we go. Eight out of ten sunken souls. I I think that's everything I needed to be right here, but there's a waterfall, so let's become a crab and press up and we land right here. And what do we get in here? Let's take a look! Ooh, the Harpy Talon. Now we can do more stuff as the Harpy. What we can do now is we can shoot feathers and that even pins us down in the air. Really nice thing to have. Well, let's move on. There's more stuff to explore. So, there's another block that we can destroy. Let's swim in through here. And get ourselves... Ooh, see that? Another waterfall that we can shoot ourselves up on. So, we cannot shoot water bubbles out of the water. So, let's just get ourselves a second to last heart holder. Not a lot left to get there. So we're doing amazing. Let's just hop forward and sploosh. Moving forward. 
The one thing that we really just want to find now that's still missing for us to get everything done in here is inside of the factory. So see you in there because that doesn't have anything of interest for me now, does it? Yeah, that just leads me up there. Okay, factory it is. So one thing right here, we have a flower, stomp it as an elephant, get some scrap metal from that because we're still in hunt for that. So let's move on forward. So down here, we have a block that we now can destroy, and boom, nine sunken souls. So one more sunken soul is down here somewhere. Let's hope I'm not running past that, because that'd be stupid for me. So another thing that we have right here is this platform, boom, and hi there croc, give me that gallery key. Frustrating little bugger. Well, Got that thing, moving forward, still not what we're actually after. Okay, we're now up here where this little cave was that we saw a lot earlier. Well, now we have what we need to get through here. With the spider, we can climb to the ceiling and then we go into bad form, fly across like that. Then here we can fall down. Then let's become a spider again, go to the ceiling, climb across there, because everything else would be dangerous. Whoops, not Harpy, that's not gonna help us, because the spikes are instant death. So you might be able to do it with the Harpy, but I'm not gonna risk anything, that's not the spider. There we go, over there, spider butt, go over there, spider butt, and final one, here we go. And we did it, through that part, and now we can finally get ourselves, hmm, a data chip. Interesting. Well, we now have a data chip. So, now we are at Tasseltown. And we actually got everything at the Mermaid Falls, so we're good there. So, now there's only one thing here in Tasseltown that we really can get. Well, two things I think should be actually here, so... Let's go ahead and try out, you shot me, and get those. For that, I need to get to the water. So, see where we need to be. So there's the first thing, boom, destroy a block and move forward. Stay clear of those things because they explode. And perfect. Let's go up there, get yet another sunken soul. Got 10 out of 10 of them. Good to know. And here we have now a little cave that holds an iron slab for us. So, we now have the iron slab, there's still one more thing in this area that's in, of interest to me and that's the final heart holder, so see you once we're where it is. So, now after everything, now we are in the mansion again and in here we're gonna try and find Poe this time so that we can get his zombie hamster. We should have everything else that we need to continue after that, so... I'm not 100% done with everything so far, but I'm 100% sure that everything that I've done this far is more than enough to suffice for me for the moment, because it's already a lot. Hi there! Nearly jumped on my head, douchebag! Hey, could you? Could you not? Could you? Yeah, thank you! So let's see what we get in here! It's the bat sonar! So that's something we need for another place that we're gonna visit in another episode, not in this episode, because I'm I cannot just do that forever. I'm already taking up a lot of time with just flying around and collecting stuff. Ouch, I got hit in the head with your face. So all I'm really ouch interested in is getting down here. Hello the Po! Po! Long time to see. Hmm, my lady. I just can't get enough of this castle. Incredible, right? Well, it's a little on the scary side for me. Nah, I could see myself settling down in a place like this. Oh, you sound a little troubled, Poe. Yeah, it's just my pet. He doesn't get along with this place at all. He likes to run and run. But around here? Uh, I don't know. He could wander off and get hurt, you know. I really want him to go 
have a good home where he can be happy and really get his wiggles out. I know just the place. You do? Really? In that case here. You got a zombie hamster. Thank you, Poe. Um, let's ignore the fact that I'm gonna use your... Hey, stupid. Let's ignore the fact that I'm gonna use your hamster for labor, but I guess it'll be fine with that overall. Can I get down in there? No, I cannot. Well, in that case, I think we've done more than enough in this episode, so let's go back home. Buy ourselves some stuff. And then, also we have everything inside of the Hypno Baron's castle now. And then, man, this episode. So back down we are. Let's quickly before we do anything else go in here and how about because we have a lot of money I could get the Mega Puff and the Mirror but let's get the Scimitars to get something stronger in here and Mega Puff. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling good right about now. Getting really close to having everything that I wanted to have. And we're only missing one hard holder. So we're good in that case. So let's go to the workshop. And Uncle, we're gonna talk to you in the next episode. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, how about leaving a comment down below? I really would appreciate that. And I'll see all of you in my next video. So bye!